What is that? A concept. What can you expect from McDonald's this year and beyond? How about a recycled McD's alien mascot turned into a restaurant spin-off, a new and improved Big Mac, AI, bigger paydays, and more? These are just some of the 24 big changes coming to McDonald's in 2024. Very interesting. Return of the Mac. I'll have the Big Mac, please. Great joy. The Double Patty Delight carried a price tag of 45 cents when the original Big Mac first burst on the scene in 1967 with a regional release in Pennsylvania before popularity led to a permanent nationwide spot one year later in 1968. It's been a fixture on the menu ever since, and McDonald's decided to quadruple the deliciousness in March 2020 with the introduction of the Double Big Mac, containing four patties instead of two, as well as extra Big Mac sauce. It became an example of an excellent idea with poor timing. Supply chain issues due to the global pandemic meant the new release had to be pulled from production almost immediately. But after a four-year break, the four-pattied fave was reintroduced on January 24, 2024, and we're recommending extra napkins for all the extra Mac magnificence. Can I have some extra napkins? Out of this world. Houston, we have a problem. The love of McDonald's is a universal experience, and the company's taking that to heart with a galactic new concept for the new year. Named for a space-age alien McDonaldland character named Cosmic that once blasted off with Ronald McDonald, Grimace, Birdie, and the rest, Cosmic's adventures ran throughout the 1980s and 1990s, but has since been out of rotation and out of orbit for more than three decades. Well into the new millennium, the Cosmic's name and concept are giving way to a more modernized take on Mickey D's. A smaller-scale, beverage-centric cafe vibe will be the heart of Cosmics, which opened its first test location as a drive through only spot in Illinois in December 2023, with plans on more in 2024. By the end of this year, 10 pilot restaurants are planned to open across the country, with most of them centered in Texas for Phase 2 of testing. These new Cosmics locations might be little, but they expect to pack a big beverage punch. How do people decide? Blast off beverages. All right, Tom, pour me a drink. As a beverage-centric quick serve, Cosmics is heavily focused on drinks. Nationwide beverage sales were up by 13% in 2022, and sales at beverage spots that also carried snacks jumped 14% in that year. In an attempt to take advantage, there are all kinds of new ways to wet your whistle at Cosmics that don't exist at any standard McDonald's locations. The drink menu has 11 different iced teas and lemonades, including iceberry mint green tea, sour tango lemonade, and tropical spice aid. There are four different signature Galactic Boost beverages, including Blueberry Ginger Boost, Island Pick Me Up Punch, and Berry Hibiscus Sour Aid. And for hot summer days, there are six different slushies and frappes, like the Chai Frappe Burst, Popping Pear Slush, Churro Cold Brew Frappe, and Pomegranate Hibiscus Slush. So if you ever see a Cosmics, make sure you show up thirsty. This place is great. Cosmic Coffee. Whew, it's like, uh... Jesus washed my tongue. The Golden Arches began aggressively expanding its North American coffee footprint in the 2010s, making its originally Australia-based McCafe coffee line a priority piece of its global brand. However, there are no standalone McCafe locations to sling coffee and cold brews, and Cosmics might be viewed as a way to finally do that. Cosmics carries 10 different hot brews with cappuccinos, lattes, mocha, hot chocolate, and three kinds of tea. But the real gold might be made with the cold. A Starbucks press release in August 2022 noted that chilled coffee beverages made up three quarters of their total third quarter sales. And as far back as 2017, the cold brew coffee market accounted for approximately $160 million of market sales across the country. Just four years later, that total U.S. market value had shot up to $1.2 billion in 2021. Cosmic focuses on capturing this audience with 10 different cold brews on tap, including iced chai tea latte, iced turmeric spice latte, and a s'mores cold brew. After all, it is very cold in space. I don't think so. Galaxy of Grub. Can I help you, sir? 
Along with an upscaled drink selection, Cosmic's test run is going a little more bougie with sandwiches that are a little fancier than your standard quarter pounder. The spicy queso sandwich features an omelet-styled egg on a brioche bun with sausage, white cheddar, and queso sauce. Meanwhile, the creamy avocado tomatillo sandwich also has omelet egg and white cheddar cheese, but adds applewood smoked bacon to that pillowy brioche bun. For fast protein, the charcuterie-esque snack box includes flaxseed crackers, pepperoni slices, smoked gouda cheese, and mixed almonds and cranberries. Smaller-sized items include pretzel bites and new miniature stuffed pastries called McPops. You can also get a sugar fix via the blueberry lemon or sea salt chocolate chip cookies and the caramel fudge brownies. Of course, if this is all a little too Starbucks and not enough golden arches than customers are used to, the menu still has some mixed standards, including McFlurries, Sundays, soft serve cones, and shakes, all along some breakfast classics like the Egg McMuffin. If you end the conversation, I'll get you an Egg McMuffin. Nice buns. Really nice buns. With the Cosmics experiment hoping to achieve liftoff, we can't forget that some changes are coming to the regular old terrestrial McDonald's, too. And it starts with an overhaul of the signature product, McD's Burgers. The company announced in the spring of 2023 that big changes would be coming, and that by 2024, a major revamp would be coming to the hamburger lineup. For starters, those breakfast brioche buns being rolled out at Cosmics aren't exclusive to the new brand. Brioche buns will move in to replace the standard ones you're used to now, and any buns with sesame seeds will have a more hands-on approach to sesame seed disbursement to give a less manufactured and more artisanal appearance. Quotes from the company have included words like softer and pillowy, but the buns that carry the burger aren't the only ingredient set for a change in 2024. The burger is the bun and the bun is the bun! It's perfect! Burger Bliss Mmm, burger's amazing. This place is great. The swap out of buns is part of a larger move McDonald's is calling the Best Burger Initiative, with a rumored 50 different tests and tweaks applied in the quest to seriously upgrade that timeless seared beef. It's a bold move for a company that once tracked its burger sales, triumphantly proclaiming the number of burgers sold on each restaurant sign. The slogan, 99 billion served, was retired in the mid-1990s for a more vague billion billions and billions served, and estimates place the number as well over 300 billion burgers sold by the mid-2010s. So changing an item that has been so successful is a move that must be done with plenty of care and planning in mind. McDonald's announcement last year said that upcoming adjustments would apply to the classic hamburger and cheeseburger, the Big Mac, and the McDouble, but there was no confirmation on other beef offerings like the Quarter Pounders. By now, changes that started in a dozen major U.S. markets have now nearly spread coast to coast, and the specifics might come as a surprise to customers. Maybe I'll surprise Austin with some McDonald's. First time here? Well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and never miss out. It's as easy as a click. Thanks. Now, more McD's. New and hopefully improved. I need a new burger! Why? Four major changes will affect the burger composition as part of the Best Burger Initiative, and it all starts with that world-famous 100% pure beef. Reports of McD's burgers being too dry and crumbly will be fixed by lowering the number of burgers on the grill at a time from 8 to 6, which will allow for juicier patties. Complaints of bland beef will be cured with a trick that's not far removed from the White Castle method of steaming their slider patties with dehydrated onions, and having McDonald's diced onions now caramelized on the grill with the patties to infuse that onion flavor. There won't be any cheesy changes, except that cheese slices will come out of refrigeration earlier to help it up to a warmer temp and therefore melt faster. And if you'll be indulging in a classic Big Mac or the returning double Big Mac, there will be a substantial increase in the amount of Big Mac sauce that accents the sandwich. It's my fancy sauce. Mascot Mania. McDonald's mascot? Yeah. With all the changes coming to the Golden Arches' time-tested flagship products, it's understandable fans might be a little wary of trying something new. Reaction has been mixed since the updated burger recipes were released in certain major markets, but that had to be expected. So to help things along, Ronald McDonald made a phone call to an old friend who knows a thing or two about hamburgers. 
For the first time in two decades, the iconic Hamburglar is back in two commercials to help promote the Best Burger initiative. The Hamburglar, in various forms, has been around since the early 1970s. So to bring him back out of retirement to once again steal our hearts and our burgers seems like a slam dunk. If the Hamburglar wants his hands on these new burgers, you just know they've gotta be good. <gasps> Give me, give me. Domestic expansion. This is Sparta! Mickey D's has more than 13,400 locations across America, making it pretty easy to find one. Orlando, Florida boasts the most McD's per capita in the country, with 20 locations for every 100,000 residents. North Dakota is the opposite and has the fewest as a state, but still has 22. Even up north in Alaska, you can still find 27 statewide stops. In fact, every state capital in the Union has one, with the lone exception of Vermont. Vermont. The competition pales in comparison since Burger King has nearly 6,800 U.S. locations as of December last year, and Wendy's was up to 7,100 as of last November. However, Subway and Starbucks are ahead of McDonald's with 20,000 and 15,000 locations each, motivating Mickey D's to start playing catch-up by opening 3,000 more American locations by 2027. Welcome to McDonald's, may I help you? Expanding internationally. Yes, that's a great plan! Those 13,000 locations sound like a lot, but they only make up one-third of the total worldwide footprint for McDonald's. Increasing the number of stores in the international market is also on tap for 2024 and beyond. This year, the focus is on China, which is the world's second-largest economy and is ripe for more business. McDonald's corporate struck a deal in November 2023 that allows a greater ownership stake in their Chinese holdings, meaning more control over decisions moving into 2024. There are already 5,000 McDonald's in China and another 3,500 are planned in the coming years. That's slightly more than a half of the total 7,000 new franchises planned for international expansion, including additions in Brazil, India, and Japan. Amazingly, there are still around 120 nations around the world that haven't yet experienced McDonald's. They include places like Barbados, Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Syria, and Uzbekistan. But sooner than later, the McFlurry machines might be moving into some of these places, too. I believe scooping ice cream with an ungloved trunk is a Class 3 health code violation. Global Domination Gee, Brian, what do you want to do tonight? Try to take over the world. Between domestic and international expansion, 2024 might be the year that Ronald McDonald looks to take over the world. The 40,000 worldwide stores that already exist are a truly staggering number, with almost 70 million customers every day marching in for a fix of McHappiness. To keep up with the current pace, estimates suggest a new set of golden arches pop up at a brand new location roughly every 14 hours. These totals dwarf the worldwide numbers for fast food, surpassing Starbucks' 36,000 spots, KFC's 27,000, and Subway's numbers of over 30,000. But just like we can't get enough McNuggets, the store count just isn't enough for McDonald's HQ. The company has announced the goal of hitting 50,000 locations around the world by 2027, starting with this year's expansions. This will help spread the word about the Best Burger Initiative, which is currently in 70 international markets, with plans to be fully deployed around the world by 2026. It's time to begin. A new chapter. Real food, artificial intelligence. You are just a machine imitation of life. The digital age has entered the chat in more ways than one, and McDonald's has plans for 2024 that were spurred on by a rival getting there first. Over at Wendy's, research that began in October 2021 saw a practical application by June 2023, with Wendy's outlets set to test drive artificial intelligence drive throughs this year. The years in the making partnership with Google already has four AI drive throughs powered by Google Cloud software operating in four company-owned locations that will soon branch out to franchisees. In response, McDonald's announced in December of last year that they'd have their own cloud-based operating system starting in 2024, and it will cover much more than just the drive throughs Great planning. Google Grub. That made a search engine into an engine for change.
Announced in December 2023, Mickey D's 2024 introduction of artificial intelligence is set to whip up some database deliciousness. Through a partnership with Google Cloud, AI tech will analyze data from cash register points of service, self-serve ordering kiosks, drive throughs and even the mobile app. The company will use Google's Edge computing solution system to implement this. And although details are vague at this point, the company has said it expects the system to help in real time with restaurant efficiencies, like speed of service and customer complaints, as well as getting out hotter and fresher food. On a more general scale, it will identify larger problems the company might have that will need adjusting for overall production. A larger digital ecosystem across the vast McDonald's network should provide plenty of data to pinpoint areas needing improvement, as McDonald's CEO was quoted saying about the upgrades, tools get sharper, models get smarter, and restaurants become easier to operate. Updates are ready. I should update. Training meets technology. Homer Simpson? Voice does not match file from 1989. It's not just the operating systems becoming more advanced through technology, but the employees putting them to use are going to be introduced to it in their training, too. McDonald's has partnered with a company called Accenture to help acclimate the employee side of things to all this new tech and AI-based awesomeness. Accenture is a professional services company specializing in optimization and revenue growth, with a staff of 700,000 people across 120 countries. Working with this team is crucial to help the McDonald's team get up to speed on the upcoming advanced systems, helping to support and train staff through Accenture's own online courses, development programs, and in-person boot camps of hands-on learning. That way, everyone has the skills and familiarity with the new equipment to maximize its potential. Welcome aboard, Robo Ronald. Go, Robo. Upgrading tech and the employees who use it is definitely on the nationwide McDonald's agenda this year. But if you live in the Golden State, automation could have much more input on your next order of golden fries. California is set to raise the minimum wage for fast food workers statewide in an industry-exclusive move starting on April 1, 2024. The law, technically known as Assembly Bill 1228, will see a minimum pay increase to $20 an hour from the current $16 wage. Restaurants, however, say they'll need to increase prices to make up for the difference, with the cost at the cash register jumping anywhere from 4 to 9 percent. California is home to just over 1,200 sets of Golden State Golden Arches, which itself makes up almost 10 percent of all the McDonald's locations in the USA. So, to offset losing customers to price increases, automation technology might soon see McDonald's bring in robotics to streamline or entirely eliminate tasks performed by people, like drink fountains that fill your cup robotically or self-timed burger-flipping machines. It might be sooner than we think when your next takeout bag is packed by a robot Ronald McDonald. The new technology will be altering the past. Ready, set, go! Big Mac! While going out to eat hasn't completely gone out of style, fast food industry numbers suggest mobile ordering now makes up 40% of total sales. Because of the increase in curbside pickup and in-store takeout, fast food restaurants capitalizing on mobile orders are making 30% more profit from takeout than those without app ordering options. And the convenience seems to lend itself to customers spending a little more while tapping their phone. Surveys show 34% of consumers tend to order at least $50 worth of food when ordering online, and 20% of consumers say they spend more money while ordering online than if they were physically sitting at a restaurant. To keep up with the times, McDonald's is introducing a bold new strategy for 2024. I get free donuts! Ready when you are! So fast! To be ready for the online rush, the company is introducing a program called Ready on Arrival, aimed to improve the quality of mobile-specific orders. Tested last year and officially debuting in select locations this year, Ready on Arrival is scheduled to be fully implemented across McDonald's six largest U.S. markets by 2025. The program will shrink the window for mobile order preparation since consistent complaints about orders either sitting too long before they're picked up or not being ready on time because they were started too late have dogged the McMobile satisfaction ratings. 
For both couriers and direct customers, the program will use GPS tracking so that orders aren't started until three minutes before the estimated arrival of the pickup party. And orders won't be charged until that same time so the restaurant can be sure someone is on the way to pick it up. This way, your next mobile order should guarantee that your hash browns will stay hot and your Coke will stay cold. Can you explain to us how you managed to spend $489 on a mobile app? Delivery Dominant. Oh, thanks, man. McDonald's got in on the ground floor as one of the first fast food restaurants to get into mobile delivery. Pizza and Chinese food ruled the delivery scene for decades in the days of the landline telephone. But the advent of mobile ordering and third-party delivery apps changed the delivery game. Thanks to a partnership with Uber Eats, McDonald's had 7,800 restaurants participating in mobile ordering in 2017, but they nearly doubled that number only a year later to almost 14,000. At the time, mobile ordering accounted Counted for 10% of the company's business. But new directives from McD's HQ aims to have 30% of delivery orders originating directly through the McDonald's mobile app by 2027. Cutting down on third-party ordering through apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats in favor of the McDonald's app is supposed to streamline the entire process, which is probably a good idea since McDonald's states to have the biggest delivery program on the planet, preparing and delivering 55,000 orders at any given time. And moving forward, the company would like to start rewarding all those hungry customers. Here's your special delivery. Thanks. Larger loyalty. You show loyalty, they learn loyalty. Much like landline delivery, long gone are the rewards club days of punch cards and a free item once you fill it up. Point systems are where it's at, and tracking them on mobile apps is the best and fastest way to keep up with them. For the Golden Arches, it's the My McDonald's Rewards program that keeps us coming back. McDonald's loyal customer base is absolutely massive, boasting 150 million active users that have had accounts for at least 90 days. And altogether, they're responsible for $20 billion worth of system-wide sales. But if you haven't picked up on the theme already, 2024 is the year that Mickey D's keeps pushing for increases, and their loyal repeat customers are no exception. With the previously stated target of increasing mobile ordering to 30% by 2027, they're also aiming to add another 100 million active 90-day app users for a total of 250 million, which would see that 20 billion of annual My McDonald's members' sales fly up to 45 billion. With a free order of large fries given away to all new users that sign up, they're gonna need a lot of potatoes. How much? It's free. Your son used his reward points. drive through Designs Oh, it's beautiful! Even a long-running and foolproof idea like the drive through isn't immune to a few tweaks. The company is looking at increasing the size and number of lanes at new restaurants, including a lane just for picking up mobile orders, and the possible use of conveyor belts at the pickup window to increase the speed of service. These days, McDonald's is the largest drive through operation in the world, with 27,000 worldwide drive through windows. But it's their first one that makes their drive through history so unique. Unlike competitors, by 1975, McDonald's had yet to switch from exclusively drive-in and walk-in service to an actual drive through But that year, a McDonald's in Arizona near an army base started to see increased traffic from off-duty military personnel. The on-duty ones were just as hungry as the folks who were off shift, though, but military base regulations at the time prevented them from exiting their vehicles wearing their fatigues or uniforms. Thus, the first Mickey D's drive through was created to serve Army Jeeps moving to and from the Army base. With future planned expansions for modern-day McDonald's drive throughs they really might need enough food to feed an army. We'll eat food! We'll need supplies. Don't change a thing. What do we need to do? Despite a list of growth and expansion plans, McDonald's also wants to capitalize on its consistency. Items defined as core menu offerings, classics like the Quarter Pounder or world-famous fries, account for $75 billion of global sales every year. In fact, of the familiar standards on the menu, a staggering 17 of them with recognizable names and images count as billion-dollar brands themselves, like the Big 
Mac or McNuggets. Meanwhile, the McDonald's brand as a whole consistently ranks as one of the top five most valuable on the planet across the board, not just in the fast food industry. They say to stick with the one that brought you to the dance, and in this case, it might be not tinkering with tradition that keeps McDonald's dancing the night away for years to come. Welcome to McDonald's. Making McMoney. We want more money. All the big changes coming from McDonald's are, in the end, designed to make them more money in the present and into the future. And the company released specific projections last December to show exactly how much more business they plan to see. Entering 2024, they were looking at just under 2% growth in system-wide sales, but are hoping to bump that up to 2.5% annually moving forward. Currently, McDonald's is sitting around $2.5 billion of capital expenditures, which is spendable money on hand used to purchase and maintain physical assets like land, buildings, and kitchen equipment. With all these new projects on deck needing financing, Mickey D's would like a bigger piggy bank and want sequential increases increases between $300 million and $500 million every year from 2024 to 2027. Sounds like Ronald is gonna need a bigger wallet. I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Big Macs, bigger hearts. His heart is bigger than his stomach! While it's crucial to be crunching the business numbers, McDonald's isn't completely heartless in the way it conducts day-to-day -day business. Like most modern and progressive businesses in the 21st century, they do have plenty of goals when it comes to global purpose and impact, too. On the environmental front, the company is committed to a net-zero emissions target by 2030 and is set to start reporting progress for the first time this year. On the supply side, they've committed to sourcing chickens with healthier outcomes and have eight steps to do just that by the end of 2024. They're also working ethically with pork suppliers to increase the pen sizes for pregnant sows by the end of this year. In addition to product improvement, Mickey D's hasn't forgotten about its people, either. Initiatives set to increase the representation of women in leadership roles to 45 percent and the representation of underrepresented groups in leadership roles to 35 percent will be worked on this year and completed by 2025. With all the changes this year and beyond, we'll confidently say the one thing that won't change is the public's love for McDonald's. Oh, we love McDonald's. We're serving up seconds, so order up another great video. Just tap or click. Keep on watching.